Here's the problem with Kyrie Irving. You don't show up to work. Because there's always something that distracts him from showing up to work consistently. That is the issue with the Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets is not, oh, what headlines you create? Please, you could deal with all of that. It's Brooklyn, New York. It's not about the headlines. It's about the fact that you never knew when those headlines would lead to him being off from work. Okay? That has been the issue with Kyrie Irving, who has missed about 40% of his games as a Brooklyn Net who was never reliable when it came to being available for Kevin Durant and his teammates for one reason or another. On ESPN, Stephen A. Smith went off on Kyrie Irving. You want to see that win a championship? I I, I understand that aspect of it. But don't you feel like the way Kyrie Irving has been labeled is a little bit misjudged? Don't you think it's almost like, you know, I've, I've heard things like he is a headache, it, the decision was an idiotic decision. With Jay Williams serving as Irving's public protector on the same outlet. The New York Daily News? No, but... That's we, not going to happen. We, we put a different kind of onus on our athletes than we do, and you made mention of that on your podcast. I, I, I don't deny that. Wait, so first off, I'm not the one... You I know, don't deny the that. I'm being sensitive. I don't deny Martin, that. But you're the one that seemed very emotional. Oh, right my now. God. And Go it's ahead. subject matter, Stephen A. Go ahead, Jay. Come on, man. Go ahead, Jay. Come on, man. Go ahead, Jay. I, I'm, not, I'm not sitting up here on national TV absolving Kyrie Irving of every, every decision. I'm not going back and reaccounting every decision. I'm just saying how it's interesting to me. It just carries such a bigger momentum, in particular with you, J- 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 more J- so than anything, J- anybody J- else. Jay, well, you know what? Well, I would, what? I, what I would ask you is do me a favor. Stop telling us what you find interesting and just tell us what you feel. This is where it seems we reach a tipping point in the pair's dynamic. No, my job you, is you, to you, be you say You say, I find it interesting. You always say that. Say what you're saying. <laughs> what are you saying? What did I just say? What are you saying? It seemed, what am I saying? I just said what I'm saying, Stephen A. Which is? And I'm not allowed to say what I find interesting. Of course you are. But like once again, of you course I invite you person. on the show to you say lay- what's interesting. He thinks you're too preoccupied with Kyrie, too hard on Kyrie. Did I Bridget, Bridget Kyrie Irving last week before he demanded a trade? We were talking football. How many times have I mentioned Kyrie Irving over the last few I weeks? Don't seem to, I don't seem to be the one being triggered right now. Well, it's I'm always triggered. No, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you are not. Okay. I've seen you. No, I no, watch no your problem. show every so, day. So what right, do you are I we work talking with about you? Kyrie or is this personal? Good question here by host Molly Kiram. It, it seems it, personal. I don't want it to be personal. What seems personal? So. It seems personal for you. For me with Kyrie? Yes. You One of million people, percent. You of all people with all the interest you have got the nerve to sit here in national television and tell me I'm getting personal with a player? I don't lose no sleep. I didn't say you lose I sleep. I don't lose any sleep over Kyrie. I didn't Kyrie say you Earth. lose sleep. I'm, I'm passionate about the subjects I'm passionate about. I don't accuse you of getting personal when you take the position. You have accused me of getting personal. Oh, my God. You have, Stephen right. A. Can, can I go on the court? I'm going to leave it. Can I go on the court real quick? Because I'd like to. Because when we started off. We both got a lot to say. All right, all right. You, you do? Yeah. You do? Okay, Just say guys, it, Jay. Can I, can Just say I, it, Jay. I'm not in here for that. I'm not in here for Just that. Just say it, Jay. I'm on your show. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We're all colleagues. We're all teammates. And to be clear, there's a lot to this. They have differed before with Williams bringing up receipts of things he disagreed with what Smith said of Irving. And now it has been a public forum of sparring multiple times, with many viewers knowing which side these two will take. However, after Irving demanded a trade request, he was granted what he desired, and he is now headed to the Dallas Mavericks. What's really important, though, is the back and forth that took place That was not put out via resurfaced clips on Twitter and YouTube and Instagram because that was almost as enticing as what did go viral. Smith went over Irving's track record of missing games, including how he did not feel comfortable reporting to the team after the January 6th insurrection, George Floyd, Kyrie's refusal in taking the COVID-19 vaccine, and the anti-Semitic film Irving shared off Amazon's catalog. Awful announcing noted that during the argument over Kyrie, Smith crudely mocked Jay Williams for saying, interesting. And he bluntly claimed his opinion is valued more than the former NBA players. Media target. Are you finished? Yes. You, 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 I you, thank you, you for you, allowing you, me you, to you, talk you, for well, a minute well, and 30 well, seconds. Well, well, listen. Well, first, well, you want more? 
I mean, I, more. I, I, mean, I, I mean, I give you more. You Excuse me. It, it ain't a minute and a, it ain't a minute and thirty seconds. You get plenty of time to talk on the show. I, I thank you for allowing me to finish my, All right. my okay. point. Thank All right. you. Exactly. Thank and you. after I finish, we are gonna come back and make okay. sure you get more time. Okay. There's a bunch of BS you talking about. It's not a right bunch now. of BS. It is Just because you label it, it BS does not make it BS. Well, Stephen I'm, a. Smith. Well, I said I, I'm calling it BS. Okay. I'm calling it. That's your perspective. That's right. You're damn right, and it matters. Essentially, what Jay Williams did and has done is equate. Smith's criticisms to Kyrie Irving as Smith picking his target and putting it on Kyrie Irving's back. He said that he can agree and disagree with some of the things that Kyrie has done, but this is no now. And this is also a strategy for many media folks that they will indeed pick a target and they will also pick a hero, for lack of a better word. We've seen it with Skip Bayless. And we're seeing it with Stephen A. Smith. And we're seeing it with Jay Williams now. You're the one saying I'm being sensitive, moaning, and whining. But you're the one that seems very emotional right now over the subject matter, Williams said. Come on now, I'm not sitting up here on national TV absolving Kyrie Irving of every decision. I'm just saying how it's interesting to me. It just carries such a bigger momentum, in particular with you. More so than anybody else, Stephen A. Robert Z. Glinsky of For the Win gave his opinion. I'm not sure whether Williams' critique of Smith has any merit, but it's hard not to see why he got frustrated over the insinuation of his integrity. And to have the reaction and backlash toward Williams happen live on air while Tim Legler sat there in silence. But to that, I say, Robert, maybe it wasn't complete silence for Legler. His face kind of said it all, didn't it? The big leads, Leah McConey would write, it's bizarre that Irving of all individuals is the sticking point for Williams, and it's hard to tell why Smith gets so flustered with Williams across from him on this topic. It makes for engaging content, but it feels like there's a brewing issue here that could become an actual problem if left unchecked. Molly Kiram is apparently the only one on set to sense that. SI's Jimmy Trana would recap, bottom line, both men get under each other's skin. Williams looked bad trying to defend Irving because there's no defending Irving at this point. Williams definitely seemed much, much saltier than Smith. The entire thing, though, was beautifully awkward television.